Gate in Glasgow. Celebrate Saturday. Hi girl Gate in Glasgow. I'm Emma. And I'm Sophie. And we're from the 134th Girl Guides. Last year we designed this challenge for Girl Guidance 100th birthday celebration, but now we want to make sure you can still get involved even from home. So every Monday we'll be posting a video on this YouTube channel with an exciting new activity you can do with your unit to earn points for the challenge. So in this week's video, we have the talented Kayleigh McCallum from Kayleigh McCallum Art and Illustration. And she's going to guide us through a step-by-step -step drawing and you can use this to earn points for the challenge, learn a skill, compliments poster or make a 100 picture. So let's get started. Hi there, thank you so much for joining me as part of Girl Guide in Glasgow Celebrates at Home online activities. Um, there are loads of online activities and today I'm here to show you one that I am very passionate about. Um, so just to introduce myself, my name is Kayleigh McCallum and I am an artist and illustrator from Glasgow. And I basically spend all day drawing and painting. Um, animals, people, pretty much anything that's in front of me. I'll always have a pencil and a sketchbook. Um, but I just love art as a way to sort of escape into your own little world, to let some creativity out. Uh, have a bit of fun and and just it's great for being mindful as well keeps you zen which is always a good thing too and um, so today I am going to show you a step-by-step -step drawing or oh, so no matter what your ability you will be able to draw this and I promise you'll have a great picture at the end of it and um, so it'll be step by step and do you know it's brilliant for all the family as well so if you've got anyone sort of hanging around somewhere and you think ah they could do a bit of art too then please do get them pencil, sheet of paper as well, and let's get everyone involved. Let's get everyone doing a bit of art today. Um, yeah, so obviously it's a, it's a bit disappointing just now that all the units can't meet up. I'm sure you're kind of missing everyone. I used to be a brownie myself. Um, I'm not gonna, I was gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you how many years ago I was a brownie because it makes me sound really, really old. Um, I loved being a brownie though. And I would be missing everyone as well. Um, so well done on getting this far and there are loads of online adventures that you can do um, to keep yourself going and to get towards your challenge as well. Um, so give, grow, go. I always find that hard to say but I've managed to do it. Uh, give, grow, go um, is your challenge and this today will give you some points towards it. So I know you need to get 100 points um, and this will get you one little step closer if you complete this which is great um so yeah if you if you're watching this and you're not a current girl guiding member then you can also join the biggest movement in the globe for women young women and girls which is amazing um by just going online to the website so please do have a look if you're not already a member um and yeah, I'm going to show you what we're going to create today. Um, just with a pencil, you don't need anything fancy. We are just going to be drawing something reasonably simple, but mega cute. Um, so let me get my sheet of paper and I'm going to show you. So, rainbows and brownies, we are going to be creating this lovely owl. Um, he's so cute, he's wee cartoon eyes and he's holding a hundred flag. So this is like your 100 picture that you can do. Um, and he's sitting on a lovely little branch as well. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to create him. And you can color him afterwards if you like, or you can just leave him as he is. He looks kind of good like that. Um, but if you've got any other art materials around you, feel free to draw them and color them all in as well. Um, so let me get started. So to start off with, you can choose to have your paper either landscape, the way I've got it, or you could have it portrait as well, wherever you want to have your owl sitting. I am going to start by doing really, really light sketchy lines. So you want to be really light with your pencil. We'll draw some shapes in and then we'll go over it a little bit heavier with a darker pencil. But the first thing you want to draw in is your branch. So just take a line from one side of the paper to the other. And this is where our little owl is going to sit. Now, the good thing about branches is they're not a completely straight line. They're all wobbly in nature, so you don't want anything that's looking too straight. They can be any sort of shape you like. And just bring another line across the bottom, and that is our branch. 
Okay, so you can add in your owl now. And the owl is basically, we're gonna draw a big circle for the body sitting on top of the branch. So just draw in your circle like this. And you might need to draw it a few times just to get it right. Even draw round and round until you get the line you like and then just rub out the bits that you don't. And you want it sitting a wee bit over the branch if you can. I'm gonna rub out this line here because I don't need those. I've managed to get my, my circle the way I like it. And you're gonna take that out in that little bit of branch as well. And this is our owl's body. And on top of this, we want to add our head. And the head's a sort of oval shape. So we're gonna add an oval to the top here. And you want to overlap in the body a little bit there. So just bring that in as a nice oval. Now, if I'm going too fast for anyone at any point, there's a pause button. Just pause it, finish the little bit you're doing and press play again. And you'll see where I go to from there. You can also rewind as well if you missed anything or want to see it again. I'm just rubbing out that line at the top of the body here that the head sits on top of. And that's the basis of your owl. So let's add in its eyes now. So the eyes are the biggest part and they're basically in the middle of this oval. So let's add in a big circle like this on either side. Two big circles. Now it's very hard to get two of them exactly the same, isn't it? Is he trying to draw something the same twice? What is a nightmare? And I draw all day, every day. So just, if you need to draw it again, just try a couple of times till you get it right. There we go. Looking good. Now we're going to draw what kind of looks like goggles on them. And the goggles are going to come down. So you want to go from the top of this eye. And you're going to bring it out to the edge of the face. Then bring it up and back down. And then round the edge of the face. And then down in the middle and back up again. And try and get a nice smooth line. Again, if you need to do that a few times to get it right, just spend the time getting it right. This is your time to enjoy art. You just get lost in it. Don't feel you have to rush anything. We're then gonna add in a little diamond for his nose. So the nose sits like this. You want to go maybe halfway up your eyes and draw in a little diamond shape that comes down like this. And the point comes to nearly the end of his, his face down here. And it's just a diamond shape. And we're gonna rub out that little bit in the middle that we don't need. And if you've kept your lines nice and light, it'll be nice and easy to read out, to read out, to rub out, like that. Now, Let's add in some ears. So we're gonna have these wee fluffy bits that come out the side like this. And the best way to do that is you take a line up into a little curve and then you go jaggy down. So in, out, in, out, in. And we do the same on the other side. So you take a big round line up and you go in, out, in, out, down. That looks pretty cool. It's almost, his face is almost there. The only thing he's missing are the pupils of his eyes. And the pupils of his eyes, I'm gonna draw one big circle, another big circle, and then you're gonna draw a little one in the middle of each as well. So it's just like lots and lots of circles. And then I'm gonna color this one in black so that the middle circle is gonna stay white and the one round about that, you're gonna color in with your pencil, nice and dark. That 
looks great. He's now got some eyes, he can see us. I'd love for you to give your owls a name as well. So have a little think about what their name could be. And feel free to write that on there. You can name it after yourself. You can name it after a family member. Who's a, who's a wise family member? Or someone wise in your unit as well. There's me idea. So we're just going over that line a little bit darker. So it's still a wee bit sketchy. And we'll go over this line a wee bit darker as well. And then take out any wee sketchy bits you don't need anymore. Now we're going to move on to the body. And the body is just pretty much round, but we've got some wings. So the wing on this side, on the right hand side, is really nice and simple. We're just going to go down the outside like this and stop about halfway. And then you're going to do what you did up here with the jaggy. So you're going to go in, out, in, out, in, and round. So it kind of makes it like feather like down here. And then you can make this line a wee bit heavier again because we're, we're happy with that one. I'm going to keep that in. And there you go, you've got your, got your first wing. This wing's a little bit different because we want him to be holding his 100 flag. So we're going to bring this out a wee bit more and take it all the way down like this. And then you're going to draw in like a semicircle. So about halfway up, you're just going to draw a semicircle like this. And this is going to be his wing. And you hold his wee flag up there. Now, once you've got that in, we want to take away some lines. So we don't need this line. Let me take that out. And you're going to take out a little tiny bit of the top of the semicircle here. And now we're going to go over the top and make it feathery all the way down. So like you did here, you're going to go down, feather, jaggy, jaggy, and bring some jaggy bits. You're going to bring the jaggy bits all the way up here, and jaggy bits all the way up here. And then rub out any little lines that are coming through, so we don't need those initial ones that we put in. We first lines aren't needed. Look at that. I cannot wait to see what you've done here. And we'll just go over those lines because we like those. We've decided we like these, we're going to keep them in. I can't wait to see what they all look like. It's so cool. You can rub out this little line as well. Like that. Then we'll add in some little feet. And the feet are just way round. Two, three. Three wee toes. So just round, round, round. Easy peasy. And then you can add in his, his little flag as well. So we've just got his flag to go and we're going to put some feathers on his chest. And then we can add a little bit of shading or colouring if you like as well. So for the flag, all you're doing is adding in a line. And this is the flagpole. Wherever you can, wherever you want to put your flagpole. And then you're going to draw a rectangle coming off. Like this. And then write 100 on it. So if you can do any like bubble writing, you could add on 100 with a bubble writing, or you could just write 100, however you like to do it. You could have a bigger flag as well. You could have three flags. You could have big banners all around them. Anything to celebrate 100. Something so cool. Now for this bit in the middle, we want some cool feathers going on. So we're going to bring this kind of like down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, and then it comes off the side. 
So however you can get those lovely little curves going on. And just do that all the way along again. And all the way along again. And if they're all slightly different sizes, that's all right. That's how feathers are, isn't it? And there you've got your owl, well done. If you've managed to create an, an owl, you have done amazing. You should be so proud of that. And we can't wait to see it. Now, if you want to add in some colours, now's your time. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just shade in using my pencil, because all you need is your pencil. So you can just shade it in the areas that you want to colour. So this could be like a dark brown under here and here. Now, if you've never shaded before, all I'm doing is moving my pencil from side to side and just colouring that in. And colour these in as well. And if you want these to be a wee bit darker than that, all you do is two layers and it goes darker. I'll do that here as well. So one layer has it looking the same and then another layer just makes it darker. You could add in an even lighter bit in here. If you were using your coloured pencils, this could be kind of beige coloured. That would look really cool. And then maybe this bit is the same colour as the face. Kind of brown colour. Even have a look at pictures of owls and have a think about how they would work together. And bring that down there too. You can colour in these little toes if you like. And even if you've got a little colour for the flag, oh that could be nice couldn't it? Rather than just a normal pencil you could use other colours too. So cute. And if you want to use your imagination and come up with some other things um, to add on to this you could. So you could have, you could have more, more of a branch coming down like this. You could add some little leaves to it, like that. Get another branch coming up here. You could have other animals, you could have a family of owls. You could have his little home, you could have a whole background. We would love to see your ideas and your imagination run a bit wild with this. Um, so please, please do have a think about it, spend a bit of time doing what you think would make a really, really nice owl. There we go, all done. Thank you so much for drawing along with me um, making our little owl on a branch. Um, I hope you've got a great 100 picture there. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you did too. So with a parent or guardian's permission, please do post these on social media. We would love to see them um, and have a little look at how you've coloured them or your imagination's gone wild or just how you've managed to follow along with these. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much. See you later. Thanks Kayleigh, that was great fun. How did you get on, Sophie? To be honest, I'm quite proud of how Emma's turned out considering I struggled to draw a stick man. You called yours Emma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just called mine Bob and I gave my wee pop a colour as well and he's carrying his hashtag GGG100 flag too. Wow, and remember, we can't wait to see your, your creations so make sure to post them on social media using the hashtag GGG100. And remember on Wednesday to look out for our teaser video for our video for next Monday so you can get a wee clue for what's coming. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching today. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Girl Guiding Glasgow celebrates at home.